Seven Days Sports TV here. Salute to the mighty LDBC Lions Den basketball community. In this case, smash the like button, hit the subscribe. Also, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified when I drop a new video. If you're digging the video, go ahead and share this joint. All right, so my Milwaukee Bucks fall to the Miami Heat, uh, 130 to 117 in game one uh, of the first round of the playoffs. Uh, I picked the Bucks to win this series in five. Ain't nothing changed. I got the Bucks in five. A lot of people, a lot of Bucks haters are excited behind this. Uh, you know, this, this, this happens every year. The Bucks lose a couple of games early on, and everybody panics and start talking about uh, how good is Giannis really, how good are the Bucks really, and then we start winning, and then everybody got a million excuses. Okay? So I'm not um, I'm not shocked by this. The Bucks were off for a long time. After the Bucks um, – after we clinched the number one seed best record in the in the in the league, the Bucks played like crap the last three games. Uh didn't play any of our starters. So we had a lot of time to sit back and, and wait and get rusty and arrogant and cocky. And the Miami Heat rang the doorbell. We opened the door and they punched us in the nose. And we never recovered. That's what happens. And um and it's okay. The main thing I'm concerned about is Giannis's injury. Giannis was injured in the game, um, going up uh, for a shot and came down, falling on his back, uh, tailbone. So hopefully it's not anything major. I understand at least the rumors are that Giannis has had x-rays and his x-rays were negative, so there's no damage there. So hopefully just a little rest, he'll be fine. Um, Giannis tried to get back on the court and play, but, uh, you know, I guess the pain was just too much for him, so they, they took him out. Now, in my opinion, the Milwaukee Bucks are good enough to beat the Miami Heat without Giannis Antetokounmpo. Um, the Miami Heat are not that good of a team. They're good. Don't get me wrong. They're good. But but the Bucks are a better team, even without Giannis. Um, Jimmy Butler had a phenomenal game, but he's not going to play like that every game. Okay? He just not. The Miami Heat uh, dropped 130 points on our forehead. They don't, they don't score anything near that in the regular season. So this was just a horrible game all around by the Bucks. The Miami Heat shot 60% from the three-point line. Okay. That's not going to happen. That doesn't happen. All right. That was this is what I'm not going to call it luck. All right. They came out here to play, but they were hitting their shots tonight. Good for them. That's not going to happen. They shot 60% from the floor, 60% from the three-point line. That's just not going to happen. Okay. Game two will be a lot different. The Bucks, I expect the Bucks to uh answer um and, and, and you know put some respect on our name. Chris Milton had 33 points this game, so he played well. I'm a firm believer that Chris Milton should be coming off of the bench for the Bucks. When Giannis is on the court, um, I think that Chris Milton and Giannis, because they haven't played uh, together in so long uh, due to the injuries and stuff like that, I think that Milton has been an asset to us off of the bench, being in that second unit, coming in, scoring, with no Giannis on the court. Um so Milton went off for 33 points with no Giannis on the court, okay? Uh, Drew Holiday had an off game. Uh, that's not going to happen like that. Uh, Drew Holiday had 16 points. Um, he was two for nine from the three-point line. Grayson Allen was two for four from the three-point line. Um, uh, Jay Crowder was 0 for four. Jay Crowder didn't do nothing this whole game. Uh, the biggest shock to me was um, – uh, Javon Carter, he was 0 for 2 from the three-point line. Javon Carter was very hesitant in, on, on his pull-up threes. Javon Carter is a master of the pull-up three. Okay, he run down court, fast break, pull-up three, bam. I mean, he's been doing it all year. Now the playoffs come, the, the nervous energy, jitters, guys afraid to make mistakes, start hesitating and pump faking. No, nah, bro, shoot your shot, bro. Shoot the same shot you've been shooting. That's how we got here is by you shooting those shots. Javon Carter got to shake that off. That little fear he got, he got to shake that off and go ahead and uh, uh, start making some buckets. Bobby Portis played phenomenal tonight. He had 21 points off the bench. Um, Bobby should have been um, – once Giannis went down, uh, Bobby should have been starting uh, the second half. For whatever reason, Coach Mike Budenholzer didn't put Bobby Portis in, uh, in as a starter. I don't know why. I don't know why. We're already losing. Bobby Porter, Portis was, was playing phenomenal at the end of the second quarter, and then you start the third quarter with him on the bench, 
this I don't understand Mike Budenholz. I don't understand his logic, what he's trying to do. I just don't get it. Right? We got a lot of slow players on our team, a lot of older guys. Um, you know what I'm saying? So we, we some gonna have to give here. You know what I mean? But anyway, um, I think the Bucks will be fine though. Uh, if I'll be worried if if we lose game two, I'll be worried. You know what I'm saying? If Miami come out here and beat us again on our home court, that's when it's time to hit the panic button, in my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Because we got to go back to Miami. You know what I'm saying? But right now, I expected the Bucks to win this series in five games, and we on track to do so. So I'm not tripping. Seventy Sports TV, salute to the mighty LDBC. Y'all smash the like button. I'm about to hit old deuces.